Mohan, Dr. Alice Thomas. So she will be presenting on paper on comparison of mesopic visual acuity, contrast sensitivity, and glare acuity between PDEC and OPQ. Good afternoon, everyone. So my topic is comparison of mesopic visual acuity, contrast sensitivity, and glare acuity between PDEC and OPQ. There are no financial interests. So as we all know, conventional penetrating keratoplasty has been the standard procedure for all corneal tissues in the past. It was associated with graft rejection, long recurrent time astigmatism. Then came the lamellar keratoplasty, which was associated with poor visual outcome resulting from irregular scattering of light at the recipient donor in the tooth. And then came the latest of all, the endothelial keratoplasty, which gave superior biomechanical integrity, better uncorrected visual acuity, and less induced astigmatism. So coming to PDEC, we all know it has better graft maneuverability, less manipulation, you know, you can retake in from young donors, reduced risk of donor tissue loss, faster visual recovery. So here my objective is to compare mesopic visual acuity, contrast and glare acuity between PDEC and OPQ along with comparison of visual outcome and main indication for PDEC and OPQ. So materials and methods, they were post-operative patients who underwent keratoplasty were selected depending on the inclusion and exclusion criteria. All patients doing PDEC and uh, penetrating keratoplasty, all should be pseudophagic or clear lens status. Patients who have at least 618 best corrected vision postoperatively and uh, corneal graft clarity of at least three or four with uh, grafts devoid of sutures were taken. And the exclusion criteria was any presence of any signs of graft rejections were excluded and factors which can affect contrast sensitivity like locoma, retinal detachment, uh, diabetic hypertensive retinopathy, ARMD, everything was excluded prior. Coming to methodology, informed consent was obtained, a comprehensive evaluation was done, uncorrected, best corrected visual acuity, slit lamp examination, corneal graft clarity, and presence of graft sutures. Here we utilized the corneal, uh, the, the study was done using clinical trial seat machine. After checking photopic visual acuity, patient is dark adapted for 10 minutes, best corrected lens is kept in trial frame, and the other eye is blocked with an occluder. The luminance level was kept as three candles per meter square and set for mesopic lighting conditions. The visual acuity is measured in mesopic luminance with glare on and off at four meters and uh, with glare off at intermediate that is 66 centimeter and near at 40 centimeter. Mesopic contrast sensitivity is checked at four spatial frequencies, 1.536 and 12 cycles per degree. Coming to the results of the patients who underwent keratoplasty, maximum were at the PDEC age group was found at 70 to 80 years and age group up to 40 years for OPQ. The most common indication for surgery in 30 patients was pseudophagic bullous keratopathy followed by fugues, followed by endothelial decompensation and lipomatous corneal opacity. The study shows that the uncorrected visual acuity gain in PDEC was much better compared to OPQ, which was statistically highly significant. The other uh, features like best corrected visual acuity at distance and mesopic glare on at distance did not show much significance. There was no statistical significance in mesopic glare off at four meters and intermediate and mesopic near vision. The contrast sensitivity showed that there was significant difference at the three and six cycles per degree between PDEC and OPK, which was statistically highly significant. And there was no significant difference in contrast sensitivity at 12 cycles and 1.5 cycles per degree. Coming to few studies which have been done before, we have studied the uncorrected, vers uh, uncorrected visual acuity between PK and PLK. There was better progressive improvement in vision from DLEC to DSEC to DSEC. And other studies also show that best corrected and uncorrected visual acuity was significantly better in DLEC compared to those underwent PKP. And corneal light scatter studies done by Sanjeevik Patel shows that there was significant effect of mesopic visual acuity in PK compared to healthy corneas. There was also a few other studies which studied DMEC, which shows significant low mesopic visual acuity after six months. So these are few studies which have been done before. Coming to my conclusion, uncorrected visual acuity was better in PDEC compared to OPK. Main indication was pseudophic, uh, pseudophagic bullous keratopathy. And the mesopic visual acuity, the contrast sensitivity was better at three and six cycles per degree. And there was no significant difference in mesopic glare acuity. And this was the first study ever done to compare mesopic contrast sensitivity uh, after PDEC. Thank you. Uh, how did you select your uh, cases for PK and uh, PD? Uh, this was taken after they have done the uh, procedure, sir. We uh, call them back after like six months. For PDEC, we call them after six months, and uh, after P 
TK, I called the patient after one year. Like after their serial follow-ups, I uh, choose the patient. No, no, no. My question is, uh, who are the patient who received this uh, penetrating keratoplasty and uh, who received uh, PDEC? So those which have, after my study, I found out that the patients who had uh, undergone, there is bullous keratopathy, few, there is uh, some cases of traumatic corneal uh, opacity. There were some scarred corneas. There were some ruptured uh, keratoconus, uh, dal I mean, not dal, the, the advanced keratoconus cases, which has been taken up for the different procedures, respectively. And we find out, the retrospectively find out which was done. And then we follow it up, and then we call them back after one year and six months. So why you think that uh, there is a difference between uh, TK and PTEC, like contrast of why should we have that diagnosis? Sir, in PDEC we have, uh, we are taking only the endothelium tradesmith and the desmith layer, sir. So there is, uh, and in TK the entire cornea has been replaced, sir. So in uncorrected visual activity, and there is presence of sutures in TK and there is n no sutures in PDEC. So un uh, coming to uncorrected <coughs> visual activity, there was significant <coughs> difference found out in PDEC, sir. In mesopic contrast sensitivity, actually, since lesser interface is there, the less uh, corneal tissues are interfered, the contrast part is uh, affected less in PDEC, in endothelial keratoplasty, in TK. Compared to older studies also, they have found that in TK and uh, endothelial keratoplasty, mesopic was better in uh, PDEC, sir, in endothelial keratoplasty, sir. Okay, thank you so much.